The story? No, 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 no. Or just, just me? Yeah. Alright, I'm a, I'm Huck. Um, I make toys. Well, they're not just toys, it's, it's became art. I'm here in Kid Robot LA, and uh, gonna have a little gallery opening of custom toys and some artwork and, and see what people have to say. This Huck G's pretty much the shit. I got him to sign this money too. So I was all stoked on that. I don't know, it's just, it's something new. I mean, I think they like his style because it's mixed with Japanese graffiti style. And then he's kind of got the, the cartoon style going on it. It's just real dynamic. I don't know, everybody likes buying toys as children. Now they got a good excuse to buy them as adults. Oh, tanks are fun. I grew up with tanks and army guys and everything else. And a lot of people are turned off from it with, or a little scared of it with our current situation in Iraq. And, and uh, but I'm like, you know what? I grew up playing with army men. I don't think there's anything wrong with playing with army men, whether we're in a state of war or not. It's fun. Huck G is a British citizen now living in San Francisco. He has lived in the United States since he was eight years old. Fourteen years ago, Huck was arrested for selling a single marijuana cigarette. After completing 30 days of community service and paying a $5,000 fine, Huck thought he had put the incident behind him. However, due to increased security measures resulting from 9-11, the Department of Homeland Security has labeled Huck a criminal alien and has targeted him for deportation. His lawyer, Don Unger. Why is the government bothering with somebody like this? I mean, there's a guy who's got a family, he's working, he's doing good things, in many, many cases like this. And yet the government persists in breaking up families and deporting people for offenses that most people would consider very minor. And as Huck is a perfect example of it. He's a guy who's lived in this country since he was a kid. And he got into a little bit of trouble while he was a high school student. And uh, it happened many years ago, and yet the government is going ahead with this process. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, when I was 18 years old, living in the suburbs, I went to a high school football game. A friend of a friend came over. I recognized him, but like I didn't know him personally. And he got any weed? I, yeah, I want to get high, and his buddy's with him. Just, you know what? Just give me five bucks. Just, just take it, just leave me alone. And I pulled it out of my sock. I had it in a little baggie in my sock and I gave it to him. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded by officers going, what? They booked me and processed me and took me to county. Called my mom at two in the morning. Mom, I'm in jail. Aha, very funny, where are you? No, no, seriously, I'm, I'm in jail. Got a felony uh, for sales of marijuana to a minor. Um, so this was when I was 18, 14, almost 15 years ago now. And what happened recently is really a result of 9-11, and that is the security at the ports of entry is much more, uh, it's tighter now than it was before. The government really didn't know about his case at all, except he made a trip out of the country, and on his way back, when he presented himself uh, for admission at, you know, at the airport coming back into the U.S., and they scanned his passport because of the new computer programs, they picked up the fact that he'd been convicted of this offense so many years ago. Flew back from Hong Kong, been traveling for like 17 hours, get off the plane, got my four duffel bags of toys that I brought back and and uh, going to go through and show my passport and yeah, wave me through and they go, oh no, you need to go over here to the side door. At first I just thought I was like the random guy. There was two Homeland Security officers in there and pulls up a folder with files and says come to me and he takes me into a little interrogation room blank walls, a desk, and two chairs. And you sit down, he starts asking me questions. Um, you know, have you ever been arrested? I'm like, yeah, I've been arrested. Have you ever sold drugs? <sighs> okay, this is what this is from. Yeah, I mean, it's something that every American kid across this whole country could have got popped for. Something that stupid and simple. And now they want to sit him back. He's been living here since when he was eight. 
Yeah, I mean, the dude's an American. And it's just ridiculous that they, they want to send him back over something like that. Certainly security, national security, and preventing terrorism is a hell of a lot more important than going after people like Huck. I got the Huck Safe Huck t-shirt so that, you know, try to keep them in the States. It's a terrible waste of resources and money. It's meant to catch terrorists, I suppose. That was the idea. But it's catching a lot of other people in the, at the same time. And hadn't caught any terrorists, to my knowledge. <laughs> uh, and no, I'm not a terrorist. Uh, I'm a British citizen. I've lived in the United States 25 years. <laughs> this is my family. Uh... <laughs> Huck's wife and kids are American citizens. Should he be deported, he would be separated from his family and sent from the country he grew up in. His trial date is set for June 9th. An immigration judge will decide his fate. I'm an optimist that somebody, even worst case scenario, you know, my life will go on and I'll recover. It's just, it's a mess. <laughs>